A lot of men were locked in here. Left to the pit when you're restrained by the fear of falling. The sight of them makes me wonder if their resistance was even worth it in the end. You're standing amidst their bodies with nothing but silence for your answer.
that body. These must be Sebastian's remains. Curious. Priest said he was the last to die. Said he shot himself when hope ran out. That someone stove this fella's head in with a pike. This was no romantic suicide. This was bloody murder. Plus, there's no ghost tie. And look, the mark from before. No ghost tie. So why did he not pale and become a spectre like the rest? Sebastian told Helen a story. His prominent chest wound was part of it, but it's a fiction. He spun her a lie. I'm starting to doubt the lieutenant's ghost. I think it's an effigy of Sebastian sent to get close to Helen. Maybe even to Pennington. Not a spectre. Something more elaborate. But what? And why? Sebastian is a doll, stuffed with stolen memory, made by whatever lurks down here. It's leeching Helen's essence. We must tell her. Whatever about Helen. First we need to find the doll maker. We'll soon be out, together. A little boy and me would appreciate you staying close.
I know the stink is long since gone, but I swear I smell it anyway. again saw the sun. The thought scares you. Aye. getting close. 
If we want to stop for a wee minute, this place will be. These chains, an echo, I think. More corrupted ivy waiting to be plucked out.
Baked and cold. from the past linger here. They left me here to rot. They'll not have me.
vivid memory from the dead is somewhere near. gives it life another ghost rallying the wrath of lesser specters to its cause this is about the agony of Deborah Comenius I am the guilt of the people of New Eden Can you see it? Not yet. I hear you. And who have you returned? if we do. You're Deborah, right? Pennington had you arrested and clapped you in chains. Timing. 
The chains are coming undone. This is your chance. So close. Her last strike weakened the chains. Free her! Get this next step. You pay for this! You are The chains are coming undone. This is your chance. I can see the weaker links. Bad timing. Her last strike weakened the chains. Free her! Call on me, Rip. Lift these chains! Overhead! The roof is crumbling. Damn it! The chains are coming undone. This is your chance. Our last strike weakened the chains. Free her! Damn chains! Let me out! Let me out! I'm right here, you know. I've got you. Yeah! <laughs> 
Call on me, Red. Next time. They will know the pain. I can see the weaker links. Oh, bad timing. All the fun. Thank you. I can see the weaker. Come <laughs> on. 
Call on me, Red. I can see the weaker links. It's over. Go in peace. No peace. No pardon. Naught but darkness and decay. No. All this must stop and you must stop it. Dark decay and the maddest words of the worst of men. Whose words? Pennington's? The worst of men. Oh. When the maddening silence becomes the darkest night, the faintest voice is welcome as the dawn. Deborah. I've had enough minds for a lifetime. Can we go now?
What was that thing? A puppeteer. Every dead thing we've met was controlled by its anguish. Sebastian especially. The miners were wronged, but Pennington's dereliction of Deborah is what caused all this. So what now? Helen's grip on power was already fragile, and we found out that her husband was a spy. Is Pennington any more trustworthy? He let everyone suffer so he wouldn't have to face his own cruelty. But eventually, we'll get the take sides. <laughs>
What is it? A rush after the fight. It'll pass. It's Sebastian, isn't it? You know I'm me, right? That I'm no poet. Hi. Do you, though? Hi. My head may say different, but I know it in my heart. Fresh air, at last. You did well down there, young man. Thank you, Master. It is justice. Justice long denied. Wait! Thought you'd been killed in the mines. Tomb blow lie dead in the mines. Neither one more word, nor a move from you. The mines are cleansed of their madness. Which is more than I can say for this room. You banished the thing in a pit. Truly. It's gone. Aye. The puppeteer is no more. The siege is lifted. Don't get excited. You're still up to your neck in shite. You've still to answer for what you did, and what you did not. I do not answer to civilians, nor to mutineers. You will answer to the dead. Once a woman in chains cried out and you did not listen. This is why you're cursed. Confess. Your future, and the future of many, depends on it. I'll confess there is no future. I'll confess I led us here to make our final stand. 
and we still stand. To that I'll confess, and claim the credit. We fall one by one. Then we weep, we rage, but we stay loyal and true. Even the widows must stay true. In fear you dither while folk die. Soldiers will not long stay loyal to a coward. I do not fear a future already written. The die is cast. I dither not. I hold. I hold and watch the end unfold. There's more to this. An older guilt. A deeper fear. You may be to blame for the tragedy in the mines, Pennington, or you may not. But the puppeteer wanted you dead. Some years back, you accused a local woman of witchcraft. You locked her up. The puppeteer was quite angry about that. Fairfax Haskell, too, played a part in the killing of Deborah Comenius. He faced up to his wrongs. Now you will face up to yours. At last the die stopped rolling and my number has come up. I'll tell it now. I'll tell it all. When you slandered her, you knew there'd be a witch hunt. Why'd you do it? There was no slander. It was true. She was corrupt. She was evil. And she was a school teacher. Someone had to think of the children. It's horse shit, but he seems to believe it. We're getting closer to the truth. Deborah was no witch. The good and fearful folk of New Eden turned on her to protect themselves, and so did you. You recognized her in the puppeteer, didn't you? I'm sorry, puppeteer? That's what was in the mines, wasn't it? And you knew, didn't you? How long? For how long have you known? What I know and you do not would fill a library. Sebastian's sway over Helen is dangerous. If she takes charge, so does he. But Pennington is depraved and merits no saving. What's your thinking? I have faith in Helen Priest. Step down, Captain. Perhaps you may begin to wash your guilt away. Do what you must, and face the consequences. Cast the die. I will. You failed, Captain. As an officer. As a man. You brought a curse upon the people of New Eden. No. The fort needs a leader without blood on her hands. I'll do it. I'll place the blame where it belongs. Down with tyranny. Justice prevails. If we are to survive, there is much to do, and survive we shall.
For the record, beyond that door, Captain Pennington was tried and executed for his crimes. We did what was needed. The story you tell is up to you. Looks like the Nightmare's curse is lifted here. Job done. Grey weather. As usual. So, what now? What did Ceridian say when we first met her? Once we'd weakened the Nightmare's influence, we could use the Void to enter its lair. Deborah's grip on the Settlers has diminished. We'll return to Ceridian's island. From there, the Void Breach will take us back to New Eden Town. Just like that, eh? Well, yes, just like that. Something bothering you. But aren't we rushing things a little? We've lost too much time already. We have a nightmare to confront, remember? Sometimes I hate the world. Another free woman, bright, sensitive kind, murdered by a craven rabble too weak to face its own mediocrity. Cowards hiding behind fake virtue. And for what? They won't even say her name. Why? Why her? You said it yourself. Deborah was a victim of their fear. That's not enough. Her murder was another throw of a dice. Why is it always us who have to pay with our lives? Other innocents have paid the same price. I should know. That's not what I meant. But I'm glad to hear your feelings on it. When I left Cuba, anything could have befallen me. I was bright, free, talented. Though I had the wrong tongue. The wrong sex, the wrong skin. I defied life. I expected so much more from the world. I was arrogant. Arrogant to believe I needed no one. To shut out my mother. And experience curandera. And listen instead to my sister. Your childhood friend. What happened? I had little and wanted more. A dangerous thing when you have our type of talent. Anything could have befallen me, but it didn't. But something did happen. Something happened to Deborah, and then something happened to you, and now... Now we are both paying that price. You still have your life. What's it worth if it's played by the murder of all those I killed? 
We made a choice, Rory. You made it willingly. Aye, I did. Look, all this is a lot to endure. We're both exhausted. I know I am. I cannot tire. I know. I know how hard it's been for you. You have no idea. None at all. I'll do my best to understand, if you'll let me. We should have faith. Look at us. We'll get to where we're going. Shut up, Red. Shut up. This isn't about... This isn't about what we have conquered, or what we have achieved, or how far we have journeyed. Look at us. Look at me. I loathe what I've become. Can't you see that? I was trying to help. I'm sorry. Stop apologizing. <sighs> Good night. Antea. Antea. I would have gone with you. Not funny. I have to walk to this stupid bloody island. Antea? Please tell me you're here. There you are. Ready to go. I just got here. Can we talk? Why did you leave me alone? You were not alone. Can we go now? How come it's not working? Let's ask Seeker. This all has to end, and I'd rather it was sooner than later. I am doing my best, my love.
There's a spectral web here, but it's new. It's stronger, but I think I can do it. Well, oh, easy there. This will only take a moment. See? Ah. Well, throwing my weapons through your will is a little unsettling. My spell isn't working. I think she's gone. These stains block the way through, like a thick web. You have my thanks, Miss Duarte. Much obliged, Sir McGraith. Onwards. Strange how I barely knew Ceridian. Yet feel like I've lost someone deeply important. Seeker! How can she find anything in this mess? Is that really what's important right now? She draws well. Oh, manual on how to hide from men. Wish I had one. Why is there a letter from Deborah Comenius here? And who's Grace? No way back to New Eden Town, and no Seeker either. Our only clue points to Kate Newsmith. Maybe she knows this Grace, and where to find her.
They never learn, do they? It's not easily chewed. Think you could take on a ghost? Backed by the Banishers, Helen Priest dethroned Captain Pennington. Dark truths were unearthed. Some secrets remain buried. The survivors must now set aside old sins and build themselves lives worth living. But can Helen Priest lead them into the future, chained as she is to her past? I get the feeling folk are preparing to leave.
haunted house. Shall we? We're closed. Red McCraith, ma'am, at your service. Ah, he who killed the beast. Well done. Thank you. What's your name? You may call me Jane. Is this your store? Yes, it is. Now that Squire Paris has walked on. Ah. I take it he hasn't just gone for a stroll. Can I ask what happened? He died. I was out hunting, and when I came back, his spirit had gone. It was wrong to leave him to die alone. His ghost now haunts you. But you know that, right? Leave his spirit alone, Banisher. It's no small thing to be haunted. It's no small thing to be dead. The Squire has always protected me. That's more than I can say for most people. Now I'll do the same for him. Dear Jane, too kind. Paris, I presume. You presume correct. Squire Sincere Paris, or what's left of him. I'm a banisher, you know. I could help you, both of you. That's what I do. I don't know. This is new to me. Jane stands by me, though I'm dead. A oh, remarkable woman. You've only ever stood by me. Now, banisher, we have work to do, as I'm sure do you, elsewhere. Don't you have somewhere else to be? You there, a word if I may. We must talk. I think he means you. Wonderful. Go on, then. One goes to another. Your rigging says you are, or were, a banisher, correct? Correct. I'm Antea Duarte, and this is Red McRaith. What can we do for you? As I'm sure you're aware, someone, somewhere, has made a mistake. <laughs> Several mistakes, in fact. Oh, I? Yes. I'm not supposed to be dead, and even if I were, I shouldn't be here talking to you. I seem to be haunting Jane. I'd like to employ you to do whatever it is you do and send me on my way. Do you have any unfinished business that could be keeping you here? Business was my trade. <laughs> trade was my business, but I'm not here because of unsold stock. I must be here for Jane. She is, was, my bodyguard. The contract was informal, but we obeyed it to the letter. For my part, for years I helped to track a group of mercenaries known as the Hummingbirds. Go on. I'd rather not. Jane's proudly pinnacle, and the story is her own. She'd tell it to you before she tells your man. She doesn't much trust white men. I'm shocked. Keep talking. Before we left New Eden Town, Jane had a secret. She was working on a map. I suspect she was up to something dangerous. Unfinished business. I'd like to see that map. If you look behind me, you'll find her quarters. Be discreet. I've betrayed her trust enough. Jane doesn't trust her boss. We should poke through the squire's books. She's very defensive about that particular patch of forest. Like you with the blanket when the night is cold.
How do you rebuild a life after such horror? By taking revenge, it would seem. I wonder about the epidemic. Was it a local disease or something else? I'm not opening that without a key. Shouldn't be hard to find. He's here. I wouldn't have kept a key here. Yeah, you probably would. Squire's archives. Paris had traded with the Pennacook, Jane's people. Maybe he thought he'd make a profit on her. He's the type. Don't be so cynical. That's my job. Squire Paris bought Jane's freedom, then hired her as his bodyguard. That was generous of him. This contract is the ghost tie. Right. We should talk to the Squire. Yes. Hummingbird mercenaries massacred Jane's people. She likely seeks revenge. Ah, right. You don't seem surprised. Why do you think we came to a backwater like New Eden? She knew the hummingbirds had been here. I wonder if it's this that's keeping you here. Yes, of course. It must be. Right. That's her. Can I go now? Jane wants revenge on the mercenaries who killed her people. Maybe that's why you're still here. Give us something to work with, Paris. Ah, Jane had a cache of weapons in the wood. The fiery grove, as she described it. I presume it to mean that the trees there are... autumn red. Arms in the woods. Red leaf trees. Noted. You traded with the Penacook, Jane's people. As I traded with many of the tribes. How do you think I met Jane? You took her into your employ. Why? 
Jane was to be sold, sent overseas as a slave. It pulled my heart. I could not allow it. So I bought her at auction and gave her her freedom. The irresistible river of commerce could, I thought, flow on without her. You took her into your employ. Why? Jane was to be sold, sent overseas. The irresistible ri Does she know you traded with her people? She does not, and I like it that way. Best not to wake the sleeping dog. Soon I shall be gone, and all this shall be history. Unwritten and forgotten. We'll take our leave, Squire Paris. I'll set up shop by my graveside. You'll find me there. Let's find this fiery grove. She means to kill the hummingbirds. Hell of a mission for one person alone. Sincere's attitude is definitely strange, and not only for his constant whining. Who might you be? Credence Scudder, sir. At your service, sir. Scudder? Are you brother to beloved Scudder? Oh, no, nothing like that. He's my cousin. And who are you? Your lordship? I'm the banisher, Red McCraith. And while I welcome your civility, you may call me Red. The banisher that saved us from the beast! You, your lordship, are a hero. Many fled New Eden because of the curse. Why did you stay? Me? Oh, I don't know. I stayed because Cousin Beloved said so, I suppose. I always do what Beloved says. Things go better for me. He's sweet and lucky to have someone to take care of him. You're a man of courage. It was brave of you to stay. Oh, I, I don't know too much about courage. And them monsters scare me dumb, they surely do. When things are bad, best stick close to them you know, don't you think? How are things going around here, Credence? Well, you're asking me. That's so great. I don't know anything, but... Kate leads the camp now. How do you think she's doing? Well, she tries her best, but it's not the same. She can't protect us like Thick Skin did. We all know it.
What did you think of Thick Skin Newsmith? Oh, she was very brave, sir. The bravest. She saved us all. Twice. I'm sure you did everything you could to save her. No one blames you. Probably. How fares the camp by your measure? Kate says we're to bury the dead and prepare to leave. I miss thick skin, sir. I do. A good day to you, Mr. Scudder. God grant you the same, sir. <laughs> 